little washed up road, little 4x4 four four adventure routes, they are always making my day. Hi guys, Sara and Yoni from Fantastic here and we are still traveling in Greece and at the moment we are in the Peloponnesos Messina finger, it's the tiniest little finger uh, This is uh, just uh, south of Finikonda which is a uh, well small town in this finger and well Peloponnes in the southern part it's uh, not that big cities anywhere just a Kalamata and that's it. Yeah, countryside everywhere and we love it. It's so lush and green and we can be here all alone. This place is super gorgeous and it can get kind of windy here. And we have been actually been on this uh, olive grove just because it's been so windy that we cannot go anywhere else. This was the perfect place because we are uh, surrounded by olive trees and well we are on this bay here. Yeah, at the moment we can park our van next to the sea because sea is not that loud but when it gets really stormy it's so loud and awful. So we spent the first nights in the olive grove inside there and came today here when it's sunny and not windy at all. Yeah, now we can enjoy the true Greek beach life. And we have done some projects. There's always projects that we have to do. And uh, it's really important to catch up so they don't pile up. We usually make a deep cleaning of the van once in a while and now we did it. Yeah, in Southern Europe there is a lot of hard water. A lot, lot of more hard water than in Finland we have really soft. We usually do removal of calcium from our water boilers and kettles and everything once in a year. This is the first time that we are disassembling the shower head. We have used this for, I think, around 12,000 liters of water or something around there. And it's good to clean some days. This is a bit icky here, so I'm gonna use Descal tablets. But water itself, yes, it's hard. Yes, somebody wouldn't uh, drink it, but we drink it because uh, I think it's pretty okay. Just a so normal maintenance thing that you need to do when you are living in a van or any vessel. Even a house, you have bigger problems. Now we're just uh, descaling water boiler kettles. That's it. Yeah, it, it will be easy. And Sarah is cleaning our disco sour pan. So everything will be clean after this. Greetings from the space shuttle. UFO is landed. Shh. Just kidding. Greetings from the van. Lot of scrapping. Yeah, it's uh, just have to be done when you are living in a small space and you use those spaces all the time. It's not like big house where you have uh, rooms that you use once a month. Yeah. What? Every item you use is you use them almost daily. Yeah, but it was just one hour of. Uh, <laughs> Cleaning and after that just sitting on the beach enjoying life. We did some outdoor projects also. So sanding the scratch up and then painting. But we did discover we cannot uh, install the wheel arch just yet because we need some screws. So that's like ongoing project. And it's almost summer. Every day you can find new flowers blooming here. It's really nice. So we changed our van to here, which is uh, beside the sea, and we can see the sea. But before that, we were here on this olive grove. Yeah, lots of mud, and we are actually thinking where we can leave the place. Oh. <laughs> well, after that, when the mud has a little bit settled. Time for some indoor projects. A few years ago we did broke our blinds. This mosquito part 
still works wonders, but they do not attach. So we just glued heavy duty magnets there. And now we can use this manually. There is a tiny gap, but it doesn't really affect on us. It has been working great. Unfortunately, they do not sell any spare parts for these window cassettes. So you would have to buy the whole big window and it costs so much money. So of course we are not going to do that. Bad news is when you have lived almost a decade in your lovely camper van, the other one is also broken and it's the same kind of thing. So mosquito box wonders, but this does not. Yeah. So we are going to do the same thing that we did to the previous window. Just break it. Se on se kuva, missä se polttaa itse se kolmin kanssa. No. I love the epoxy smell in the morning. And brain cells just escapes. Psst. Too late for that. Hopefully Edgar will live forever here. If not, then we make some more support for it. Because it's leaning forward, so putting a little support here. After the glue has settled, we have fixed it. It works. Whee! There is a little gap. I think we will buy this uh, fluffy thing here someday to fill the gap. But it's good. I like it. It works. Yeah. This is like this wobbly because there's no strings anymore. But yeah, they don't sell spare parts. I would love to see actually when I would buy a motorhome some kind of uh, I fix it this side. This has uh, numbers from 1 to 10 for electronic devices. How well you can get spare parts for it and it gives like great how easy it is to fix and how you can get spare parts. That is one thing how why I'm buying Samsung. Easy to fix and spare parts are available. Same thing should be in a modern home. So you could actually watch from the site how easy it is to get spare parts and how easy it is to fix. So how they have built the van. I would give Adriat win fixable 9 out of 10. Everything is fixable easily and comes apart easily and you can actually get really deep inside of the van easily. But some manufacturers, for example this, they don't sell spare parts for blinds. This is wearing out part, this, this one. There should be spare parts, but there ain't. So that's minus thing. So I would give a spare part for it to have been 6 out of 10, because everything else you can get spare parts, but not lights. There was some divers on the beach there and we thought that they were actually walked from the main road, but no, 4x4 four four, didn't want to drive down to the beach. Yeah, there is struts, it's really bad, <laughs> but we are there without 4x4. Four I'm four. Oh, sorry, AVD, not 4x, four, four wheel drive, all wheel drive. Yeah, yesterday some truck actually got into this ditch and from our beach down there it looked like they are blocking our road so we were a bit uh, surprised that it was just here because the road down there goes like like right be beneath it but luckily it was here and they got it up like in six hours or so yeah our van is down there so 
So this guy's uh, work day ended uh, 11 a.m. and he was driving 110 km per hour the fastest during that day. Yeah, so he has actually done three stops and then it was uh, in the ditch. We will leave this Robinson Crusoe beach behind. We will call it Robinson Crusoe because this is uh, like abandoned beach. Really nice place. We love it. This is our one of our favorite yeah. spots again. Yeah. Every time we found new favorite places in Greece. Well, this kind of places we like. Nobody else in the middle of nowhere. Just a beach here. And yeah, it's winter. So there's nobody. Let's continue because it will be rainy today in the evening time and uh, mud will accumulate. Yeah. The sky is blue, but it doesn't tell you anything. It will be raining in a couple of hours, so we will be gone from here. And we love also the easiness of living in Greece. I think it's more easier to live in a van here in Greece than in Spain. Spain is too populated to get to places where we want to uh, be. So that way it's more convenient. Of course there's more services and more people in there. It would be in, uh, in some way better thing. But we love it being in the nature. So Greece works great for us. A little bit colder but otherwise we're loving it. And now when we have actually traveled so slowly uh, when you look at the map everything looks like they are so far far away but the next city is like uh, 12 kilometers <laughs> we are so zoomed in in the maps at the moment because we are traveling so slowly so even 12 kilometers looks really long distance and it feels like driving day all over again <laughs> like driving 400 kilometers Okay, it was uh, harder to get up than I thought. <laughs> we were spinning a lot, so we had just barely a uh, trip to get up from that uh, uphill. So now we know that uh, that is the maximum slope that we can do. Little washed up road, little 4x4 four four adventure routes, they are always making my day. So this is nice. Yeah. But that is the most uh, steepest that we can do. Of course, if we can get stuck in a place like that... Sorry, I have to concentrate. <laughs> Some struts. Uh, then we can actually get rid of stuff in our van. Just uh, four boxes and stuff from the garage to get more uh, weight to the front wheels would be enough. And it's like uh, 200 kilograms less. So. There's always a chance. And our uh, tires are muddy. So we went to over those muddy parts of that beach. So yeah, that was also making our tires making worse.
got five millimeters of thread left on those uh, PF Kudry KO2 Polteran tires. Five millimeters it's not much because we started with 11. <laughs> yeah, after this trip we will, we will buy new ones. Usually our tires has lasted for 30,000 kilometers. But now those PF Kudricks they have lasted 52,000. I hope they will last for 60,000, for 8,000 more, then we can chase them. Then it would be really feasible to buy them again. Our consumption hasn't actually risen none, I think. Maybe 0.2 liters per 100 kilometers. And yeah, it's really good when you are off-roading. Really good. They are costing the same amount as normal tires, so approximately six to eight hundred euros, depending uh, where you buy them. So that's it. They have been great, so I think we're gonna, gonna buy the same tires. There are lots of more uh, all terrain tires available in the market nowadays. For example, the Chinese makers all terrain tires, they are really good also, but I don't know. Those tires have proven to work great, so I think we're gonna buy them same. Yeah, it's uh, cost are less per kilometer for tires with those, and we get better grip. So it's a win-win situation. And those tires get us to beautiful places, and the noise that the tires make. Well, maybe I have some hearing loss comes with the old age or something, but I don't see the difference or hear the difference. It's really small, even on the motorway speeds. Yeah, and everything rattles in a camper van and squeaks, so you don't hear the tires. <laughs> Super windy spot. Jan is going for the swimming because he did this the morning swim. And then we just drive on and continue our trip. This is too windy place for our liking. Our first stop is to get water from this water pillar and we cannot park our van next to it and take water with the hose because these tree branches are so low, we cannot fit there. Those lemons look super juicy. All the fruits here in Greece are so delicious and full of sugar. They taste like real fruits. I better go help Yoni. So good feeling when your fresh water tank is full of good drinking water. Now we just have to find a parking spot to fit this big ass van to this tiny narrow road of Greece. It's a slow fish, a lot of slow fish. Yeah, came to Pulos, which is the harbor town in southernmost part of the Greece. Yeah, we took water from Methony and we we're planning to go there to eat some snacks, but the taverna was closed, so we just drive it to another town. Again, 11 kilometers just driving, so not far away. So, came to the harbor, as you can see, there's a lot of motor homes. A lot of Germans. 99% <laughs> Germans. Oh yeah, nice parking. There's a toilets. I don't know how clean they are, but we are going to use our own toilet. Yeah. And spend at least one night here. Now, let's go to eat. 
Yeah, some gyras. Gyras in pyras. Pilas. Pilas. Gyras in pilas. Pilas and gyras. We are at the ABC store and the prices were so ridiculous high that we only bought like essentials. We are going to try to a little in a few weeks, so we are trying to cope with this. Okay, I bet our vlog is totally random. We are not in Pulash anymore. We got itchy feet, or should I say itchy wheels, and drive it up this little hill there is cute little chapel and we are surrounded by gorgeous sea views we are located in Voivodikila swamp lands or wetlands and there's a plenty of mosquitoes so when the sun will set we will shelter it indoors because the mosquitoes here they are so huge and they don't make a sound so they're gonna wish us because you don't see them or hear them and then they will bite you yeah can you really believe the fact that Finn is complaining about the mosquitoes it's kind of windy up here but behind me is the Voivodikila area it's natura 2000 area the whole wetlands so it means no campervans are tolerated anywhere inside of that place but the line goes here about it so this side is a safe zone we have noticed that these very rural chapel places works wonders as the overnighting places we don't park our van next to the chapel but somewhere here in the yard and during the week usually no one comes here maybe in the weekend time some locals will pop in 